Hello, we are outside 17th and Augustine's Road, which is uh, Camden's low energy house. What we have done is we've taken this house in a conservation area and reduced its emissions by 80%. 60% of Camden are in conservation areas. What we've done with this house is we have shown that the heritage of Camden can be preserved for future generations without compromising the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the environment for them. One of the key measures that we used in this house to achieve the 80% carbon, carbon reduction was to insulate all the external walls on the inside using phenolic foam insulation which was provided by our partners Kingspan. This has reduced the U-value uh, on, on the walls by a factor of 10 from about 2 to 0.2 and this means that it saved about 3.3 tons of carbon dioxide coming out of this house. Another 1.3 tons of carbon dioxide was saved by putting in these high performance double glazed windows. These are actually better uh, than, than what is required by building regulations today. So it's better than what you'd have in a new built house. And these sash windows were built especially to match the sash windows on the existing uh, buildings around the area so that it's in keeping with this house uh, as a conservation area house. The windows are fully draft proof, which further reduces the heat loss and, and very importantly, improves the comfort uh, for, for, the, for the residents. Reducing drafts was very important throughout the house because this saves about a ton of carbon dioxide. Um, round the edges, on the floors, for example, the, uh, the skirting has been sealed with mastic to stop the drafts coming in from there and also the floor itself has been covered with, uh, with hardboard. But it's important to reduce the air leakage coming up through the floors and under the skirting boards if we are to achieve a low energy house. Because we've, we've made the house really energy efficient now. The amount of heat needed to keep it warm is really small. So that means we only need really small radiators like these. We have also installed a number of heat exchange ventilation units which extract moist hot air and transfers the heat over to the fresh air coming in. So we extract about 80% of the energy again giving you ventilation without heat loss. We've reduced the energy used in heating this house. Now we must look at the other uses of energy and one of the most important is the electricity. In this house we've used low energy bulbs throughout as well as aerated um, white goods, this is your fridges and washing machines. And this is of course some, something that everybody in Camden can and should be doing. So far we've talked about reducing the energy used in the house. Now we need to talk about how we can produce our own energy using renewables. This is the, the solar hot water tank that takes the hot water generated from the roof and uses it to heat up the hot water that will be used by the residents. We expect it will save them about 50% of the energy needed to heat hot water throughout the year. At the moment, the sun is heating the water in, in the solar panels up to 42 degrees centigrade. They come into the bottom of the hot water tank and it's preheating the cold water, which is probably coming in at 10 degrees up to 25 degrees centigrade, which saves you quite a bit of energy even in winter. Solar energy is being converted to electricity by the solar panels and comes down from the roof into the basement where it's, it's monitored. At the moment it's producing about a kilowatt uh, even on a cold December day. Also monitored uh, in this room is all sensors that University College 
have put in, which monitor the temperature and humidity in in many parts of the house, including between the insulation and the wall. And this is sent off to University College for the research. With this house, Camden has led the way in showing that houses like this can be refurbished to low energy standards. We're currently seeking funding to see how we can extend this work to our wider housing stock. More on the mainstream, we are already insulating our cavity wall houses and loft insulating throughout the borough so that all our housing stock is more energy efficient. And we are also doing innovative measures in those areas as well.